Hello everyone, my name is Fungusen and welcome back, well not welcome back, welcome to a brand new Imperator Rome campaign. So as mentioned in my comments on the last video for the um, for the Hispania run, uh, I think we'll play a bit sort of tallish in this um, campaign, just try to figure out. Of course we've also just had a Cicero patch coming out which has changed a lot of mechanics, so... Uh, I mean, I didn't fully understand the mechanics beforehand, so I'll probably understand even less now. Um, but we'll try and go for the Pan -hala -hala blah blah Pan Greek League. So we need to pick one of these um, republics and control all of the Greek region. Uh, so we are going to be playing on Iron Man. Um, maybe stick with this one. He seems to have three provinces. Reasonably strong, reasonably out of the way, not close to Sparta, who I presume will start killing everyone around them, so... Yeah, yeah. We'll be, we'll be a bit cowardly, so yeah, let's pick this one. We're pretty shit as far as leaders go, but hey-ho. Depletion, two territories... Is this not ours? No, that's someone else. But okay, these seem pretty good. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We'll do a cloud one and pan Greek. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, Alexander the Great. Blah blah blah. Um. So no. Look at achievements here now. Um, we should pan Hellenic League. Is that on the entire Greek? Yep. So we should be able to sort that out. I don't know. Maybe we'll do something else as well. Apparently, none of the very hard ones we can do here. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And as always, if you like this campaign, do feel free to put down a like or subscribe. Um, and that's about it. Let's see then. We have three IDs. We have one Civic and two Oratory IDs. Um, build cost, build time. Commerce income. We make barely anything from commerce. Slave output, I guess, should be good for now. All right, right. So this now costs political influence, which we gain 1.51 every month. Okay. Corruption, general loyalty, improve opinion maximum. Hmm. <laughs> Let me go for you. And you. Right, so now we get monthly wages for characters minus 10% and plus 50% citizen happiness. We have currently 13 citizens, 8 freemen, 4 slaves, and no tribes. Changes. Okay, so we got surplus of food, that's nice. Um, we can get new inventions. Okay, these cost money now. Ship damage taken. Starting experience, let's go for that. Well, if these just cost money, we just grab all of them. Import value, sure. Sure. Oh, we haven't got any tribesmen. Sure. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Diplo rep, yep. I'll take that. Omen power, sure. Sure. Yeah. Oh, this is not fine. I'll take that one as well. Just to get rid of the pop-up. We can have two imports in the capital. Um, more food. We're okay for food for now, so... What do we actually produce? Oops. We are... We have olives...
Yeah, so this one produces olives. And this one produces wine. So if we import more holly olives, we get national slave happiness and local slave happiness. Wine, we get army maintenance cost. Precious metals, population assimilation speed. I'm guessing. Where do we see? Two, two. Well, they're all all the correct things, so yeah, we don't need that at the moment. Maybe while we're small, we'll buy some... Um, oh, we can't get that. Research points. Leather. Recruit speed, local fort defense. First hemp, nice. Food, 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 stone, four defense. Hmm. Go with local slave. Now we can't do any other one. Why? Oh, we need 15 gold to set one up. Ah, okay. Right, omen. Um, let's go with research points. And apart from that, what do we want to do? I want to start fabricating on people, I guess. So, if we go to the region, that's the region, provinces. Our province is that one, and... Laconia. That's Laconia, that's Laconia, okay. So you will want to... Fabricate a claim on. Yes, are you in Laconia? No. And I don't know. Hello, do you want an alliance? You do. Fine. We have an alliance with you, and we also want to fabricate a claim on you, I guess. For Laconia, yes. You're guaranteed by Phrygia. Well, <coughs> hopefully they will collapse, or if not, we'll see what we can do. Uh, right, and we need one more ducker to get more trade routes. So let's go with that. We have Sparta on our side at the moment, so we should be okay. So right, more trade routes. And one more. First, starting experience base metals. Stone, leather, wine, surplus gives local freemen happiness and army maintenance cost. Territory provincial loyalty. This is the main one though, so I don't think that matters. Um, olives. National slave happiness. We don't care that much about slave happiness. Wood. Um, wood means we can build ships. Or better ships, I guess. Salt. Population capacity. Mm <laughs> We are going to train some more troops, so yeah, let's let's go with this. And technology, right, military, it's all fine. Economy. They have not selected anything yet. That seems rather dumb. Uh, block surplus. We are not allowing any trade offers that would make us... We are allowing now. <coughs> okay, that's kind of convenient. We'll see. We're quite small at the moment, so 
shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, right, let's actually check research. How are we doing? Where's research? You have 10. Do we have anyone better? No. You have 9. Oh my god, no. You have 10. Okay, we have absolute trash. Uh, I'm hoping they're going to breed some more. We are pretty shit as well. We are going to get the civic faction in charge though, which will give us national tax and power civic faction cost. Okay. That seems fine. Populist faction influence minus 0 0.05. I guess that's good. Election term duration. We don't have enough thing for that, or shorten terms. Ooh, lifetime elections, but that'll give more to the populist faction. I mean, we might be able to... Oh, stop, stop. Sorry about that. Um, had an alarm going off. <coughs> Uh, occupation rights, so we need more civic advances for that. Need more than one port. Do we not have a port? City buildings. We have a fortress there, and we have nothing here. That's farmland. Okay. So. That's a city. This is not a city. Okay, so port, is that something we can build? No. How do I get the port? Okay, never mind for now then. Um, how are we doing economy wise? We are gaining 2.71, so we can definitely afford more troops. I'm guessing. Start building some of these ones then, and then we'll see if we can attack someone once. Um, uh, once we have a bit more money. See if we attack him, that's a hill, so there will be a defensive bonus, but... I think we'll be okay. One point three three in army maintenance. Scientific breakthrough. Uh, Ellis gain so two 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 two. Ellis. So I am Ellis, or we can make him lose loyalty. No, he can lose a bit of loyalty. I think we'll be alright still. So, I guess one more troop. see, do we have anyone we can put in charge here? 44 year old... Sure. 
and if we now say army maintenance cost plus 33, monthly experience gains plus 2.5 percent, loyalty gain plus 1 until cancelled. Sure, let's have a look at this and see. So, experience 2.5 percent. We don't have that amount of money. Uh, it's just a researcher, so that's okay. I don't think they affect the political power gain, or do they? No, no, it's just the other guys. Okay. This requires military tradition. Okay, and because we're getting more experience now, we're getting more of these points. Very nice. Scorned families. You are scorned. Have you got anyone that's good at anything? You are atrocious, so are you. I mean, you're not bad. You can't be anything, I'm guessing. Okay. Should I also um, fabricate a claim on you? Sure. That seems like a sensible thing to do. <coughs> So why not? You are probably allied. You are not allied to anyone. Oh my god, please give me my war goal quickly. Experience, yeah. 20%. I mean, there will be... They will flatten out or something, but I can't get to 100% experience at the moment due to the decay rate. I'm guessing there will be some technological advances that... Increases that. I don't know where I got the corruption from though. Maybe it was when I started fabricating where people didn't like it. But we'll see. How many are loyal? No one so far. Um, I... The Archon, that's me, gain popularity. Someone gains... See, I found such a printer here, so run one was valid times the entire need of renovation. The building could become shiny benevolence, blah 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 blah. No, we don't have, we need to save money. We don't have money for that. I actually should check here, so... Governor policy. Okay, so these still exist. Uh, borderlands, social mobility... Decentralized population. Okay, centralized. That is pretty high already. Pop promotion speed. And for an equal balance. Yeah, there will be more slaves growing. Which is, oh my god, we can have so much more population, please! Um, Every territory in the province gains pop migration speed, migration attraction, every territory that is not the province, okay. So that just moves them within my thing. Oh, we also have stance, don't we? 
Where do you set the storms? Is that not a thing anymore? Or have I forgotten where that is? Alright, there's nothing here. Unless I'm missing something. Ah, diplomacy. Neutral stance. Diplomatic relations plus one. Okay, we need 30 thingamajigs to do that. Fine, fair enough. We'll just keep... Aetolia. You're the one I'm fabricating on. No, I think not. Is this... What about you? Do you want an alliance? Your ally, you are guaranteed by Phrygia, importing your ally with Atolia. Sure, we'll take an alliance with you. And hopefully our claim will be done soon. I should probably stop drilling. This is pretty slow, I must say. Max morale is fine. Okay, we got one that's loyal. That's alright. So if we stop drilling army, and can we build roads? Oh, it's 50 freaking ducats. Jesus Christ. No, we're not doing that. Move over there. The Olympics. Yes. Definitely holding the Olympics. Oh, okay, so we, yeah, because we have Olympia. Of course. That makes sense. Friends across borders. Who are you? Leprion. Uh, someone loses. Okay, fine. We'll send them the money. Alright, so next month, let's slow down. Alright. You are allied to this guy. That's kind of perfect. We can call in both of our allies. Which I believe should definitely be enough. Uh, ten tyranny, yeah. Okay. They have honored military alliance. These have really low morale. That is farmland, so let's go in and crush this army first. I think we'll be okay, even though they got more troops. Yes. Didn't even need to call our allies here. Come on. So they will retreat to there. Um, I will do some awkward movements around. Okay, we gain some popularity. They're actually coming back here. Okay, no. This is hills though, so this is slightly more awkward, but... Okay, enemy cap 
shot. Right, there we go. And we captured loads of people. Right, so can we now split this army in half and then there's no progress. Alright, um I guess what we'll do for now then is um, create new unit, take these two and just send them over to stand on top of that. Um, but I think I'll call this an episode here, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!